Hey, what's up guys? It's the final round and my name is Jordan. This is a channel where the episodes come out the day before the lines drop. Uh, the games are still being played, uh, but when the lines do drop, I have a discord. The link is in the description. There's a lot of great discussion that goes on in the discord about the lines. I try to get in there um, as much as I can. I jump in and out. But other than that, there's other great people, great conversations some really smart people um, who do their own research and they combine it all together and it's, it's a great community. Also, I do not charge for picks. I don't have a premium. Um, what you get from me is my premium. I'm, uh, I'm not hiding. I'm not hiding anything from you guys. So I'm doing the best I can and uh, giving these picks. If you do well and you feel like giving back, um, you can donate to the channel uh, through Cash App or Venmo. The links are in the description at Final Round 11. And also, if you could please like the video, um, press the subscribe button if you have not subscribed. And if you have a little bit of extra time, could you leave a, a comment? Uh, it helps the algorithm and helps get the video out there. You can leave anything. Uh, it could be one letter. It could be a hello. It could be a bye. Uh, it could be an emoji. And it just helps the video. And uh, I would very much appreciate it. So thank you all for your support. We hit 6,000. So uh, I guess it's the, the race for 7,000 now. Um, this is awesome and uh, unbelievable. So thank you all uh, for subscribing. And if you haven't checked it out, uh, go check out uh, Jock Market. Uh, they are now getting in the game for overs and unders. Uh, use the code uh, FINALROUND11 and uh, they'll match up to $100. Uh, with Jock Market, uh, they have different lines uh, a lot of the times um, than the other apps uh, they're a little bit slower to catching up to injury updates and stuff like that and you can sometimes catch them on some pretty good lines and i've had some pretty good feedback uh, from people saying that they really like jock market uh, because they've been able to take advantage of those lines uh, so check it out final round 11 but let's get into these picks i have six of them for you they're not like obvious picks um, there is the Milwaukee Bucks and Boston Celtics game tomorrow. A um, lot of big names and players in that game. I did look at Giannis's history um, versus the Celtics, and it's not, I mean, he plays well, but he's not hitting uh, the lines where he's been at around, around like 33 or so. Uh, Tatum has actually had some pretty good games against the Bucks. Uh, so I'm not making those picks, uh, but I'm just letting you guys know. So my first pick, I'm looking at Daniel Gafford for the Wizards. The Wizards will be playing on a back-to-back -back against uh, the Blazers, who will be on a back-to-back. -back. And the Blazers, over the last month, have given up the most points to the center position. So you have Daniel Gafford, who over his last five games, he's averaging 11 points, 7 rebounds, and 2.5 and blocks. So I'm definitely looking at points uh, for Daniel Gafford. I think he can take advantage of this opportunity of giving up the most points. I almost have to put him in this video. This video is going to be a lot of smaller names, so uh, be ready. And my second pick, the same team, uh, Monte Morris going up against the Blazers. The Blazers have given up the third most rebounds and the most assists to the point guard position. So we're looking to see if they put up the rebounds and assist prop uh, for Monte Morris. Uh, this could be a very good opportunity. Over his last five games, he's averaged 12 and a half points, six assists, and three and a half rebounds. So I'm definitely looking at the assist and the rebounds. You can look at those separately or the combined prop. Uh, this should be a good play. My third pick, I'm looking at Terrence Mann of the Clippers playing against the Warriors. The Warriors will be on a back-to-back, -back, and I know they don't like to play Klay Thompson on back-to-backs. We'll see if he's out there. Uh, they might have a lot of guys sitting. But the Warriors have given up the most points to the point guard position, the 10th most assist, and the second most three-pointers made. And Terrence Mann over his last five home games has 15 points. Four and a half rebounds and 3.2 assists. So I'm definitely looking at his points. And if you want to sprinkle it in, points and assists, if they have his assist line um, down around three where he's averaging. And he's not the most consistent three-point shooter, but they do give up a lot of threes. So if he does get a three-point prop, 
and it's like 0 0.5. Uh, that might be something to think about. And my fourth pick, and bear with me, uh, Bancaro of the Magic up against the Raptors. The Raptors give up the sixth most rebounds and the sixth most assists. Bancaro's been actually rebounding very well lately. Um, so not looking at his points. Over his last five road games, he does have 19 points. They always have his prop around 19.5 or so. And he's been averaging 8.2 rebounds and 3.2 assists. So you can look at just the rebounds if you want to the assists if you want to, or you can combine these. And my fifth pick, Fred Van Fleet, who's on a lot of people's ban list, but bear with me. He's on the other side of things, playing against the Magic. The Magic give up the eighth most rebounds and the fifth most assists to the point guard position. And Van Fleet, over his last five home games, has 20 points, four and a half assists, and three and a half rebounds. So once again, we're looking at the assist and rebounds prop. Um, they, Since he is a point guard, they may have his assist really high. If they do, then maybe fade. But if it's around 5.5, I know that's one over his average. I think that's still fine. Um, you take just assists, take just rebounds, but rebounds and assists, uh, it's gonna be a good play for Fred Van Fleet. And my sixth pick, the sneaky of the sneakiest. So Malik Monk has already been ruled out for the Kings. The Suns give up the most points to the shooting guard position and the 11th most three-pointers to the shooting guard position. So I'm looking at Kevin Herter. Uh, he's, he already gets around 30 minutes a game, but now that Monk's ruled out, I think he's going to get some more minutes and some more opportunities and shots. Over his last five road games, he has 11 points two assists and one and a half rebounds. Um, his three point shooting has been pretty bad. His average has been pretty bad over those last five games. Uh, so you, if you wanna fade three pointers, that's fine. Uh, but I think this is gonna be a really good opportunity for him uh, to go over his points. And I think they have his line normally around 12 and a half ish. Uh, so 12 and a half, I think is gonna be a good play for, for Kevin Herter. So that's my six plays. I know those were all lower names, not anything huge. Um, the slate isn't too big. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, thank you all for your support. I appreciate all of you guys. And I know no sleeves, I'm gonna sh show the tattoo. Uh, <laughs> but uh, thanks everyone. Um, God bless you. Uh, it's fun around. My name is Jordan, bye.